Hey guys and welcome to the yearly bullet journal setup video of 2022. If you're new around here, hi my name is Anna and I'm so excited to be starting a new bullet journaling year with all of you today. Before we get started, I'll show you this new notebook I'm gonna start using and at the same time very quickly introduce the sponsor of this video who's no other than Notebook Therapy. I know many of you are already familiar with them and I've been a fan of their journals for a long time. So when they asked if I want to collaborate on this new setup video, it was pretty much the most ideal sponsor I could have ever asked for. In my opinion, Notebook Therapy offers one of the best bullet journal notebook selection on the market. And they also sell many other cute stationery and crafting products. They were so kind to send me their new Dreams of Snow collection to show you in this video. And also my new beautiful black journal is part of it. There's also a navy blue and white journal in the collection, as well as this beautiful washi tape collection that's perfect for this time of the year. And also these super cute sticker sheets, the stamp collection, and two of these pop-up pencil cases. They come out with new collections like this multiple times a year and everything is always so beautifully packaged and just well thought out. I will leave a link to their website in the description and if you'd be interested in shopping something for yourself, I also have an affiliate code that saves you 10% of everything. Again, thank you so much for Notebook Therapy for sponsoring this video, but now it's time to actually open up this fresh new journal and jump to the setup itself. So in this video, we'll create the beginning setup of this new bullet journal that are all pages I'm gonna use for the whole time I'll use this journal. There are no pre-printed pages here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start by gluing together this very first page, just because I wanna start the journal from the first full spread instead. And also this first page usually doesn't open up quite as easily, so it's just a little bit awkward page to use. But after doing that, we'll start by creating a kind of an intro spread that will have these big numbers for the year and just be a good place to set up the mood for the whole year ahead. I don't usually decorate these yearly pages quite as much as I do the individual monthly themes, but I did want to make this first page at least a little bit special with some flowers and leaves. I always start any drawings by doing a rough pencil sketch, so I started to find the placements for these few flowers here in the corner and then started to sketch the individual petals and some leaves around the flowers. I find that the pencil sketches take a lot of pressure off from creating anything to the journal because in this point you're still allowed to make any mistakes and change things up until you're happy with the arrangement and everything. And this is especially for any new bullet journalers out there. I also sketch out all the rest of the pages. So the placements of the titles and boxes, for example, just to make sure that everything ends up being symmetrical and that I have enough room for everything I have in mind. If I don't sketch things out with a pencil first, it usually doesn't turn out very well. But then after these sketches, I actually made some color palettes in Photoshop and printed them out on a white sticker paper. I know this might seem a little bit weird approach, but these colorful stripes will pretty much be the foundation for the decorations in this theme. And don't worry if you don't have a printer at home, you could always replace this with some colorful craft paper, or you could just use any pens or paints to color the areas. And of course, one option is to also simply leave out all these colorful accents for a more minimal look. We won't be using any other stickers or anything like that in this theme. And I'll also leave a link to the description where you can go and find these same palettes I'm using completely for free if you're interested. So I like to use these as some easy color accents in the pages. And since I had this pretty specific neutral color palette in mind for this setup, this approach also lets you print out exactly the colors you need. 
So I thought having this dark green stripe here would look cool behind the numbers and the flower arrangement. I actually wanted to keep the white numbers on top of the green paper. So I decided to just cut out the same shape numbers from an extra piece of the same bullet journal paper. So you could just take a page out from the end of your journal, for example. But after all this, it was time to add some light coloring to the flowers and leaves. And I decided to use watercolors for this step. Using watercolors on a notebook paper is never gonna be the same experience as using them on a real watercolor paper. So just keep in mind that you probably don't have much control with the blending, but it also doesn't mean you're not able to create pretty decorations with watercolors. It just requires a little bit different approach. But after adding some very light and simple coloring here, I actually went back with the black pen to add some more lines here. And I think it helped to sharpen some of the details of the flowers better than just the coloring did. I actually ended up coloring the numbers black later, which I kind of regretted honestly, but in this point I felt like I was done with this page, so I moved on to add some balancing decorations to the left side here. The main thing I wanted to use this page for was to write my word of the year. I think it's a pretty cute idea to pick one word that you feel like would represent the year ahead. So maybe something that will define your goals or some self-improvement or self-love related. In 2022, my word of the year is clarity. So after painting these leaves here in the upper corner, I wrote it here with some big cursive letters. And I also decided to add a small quote here in the corner because it looked a little bit empty and this is by Carl Young and it says, I am not what has happened to me, I am what I choose to become. I thought it could be an important reminder for not only myself but hopefully for some of you as well. But that's finally it for this intro spread to the new journal and now let's move on in this setup. Next, I usually like to make this year at a glance page where I write all the calendars for the upcoming year. This is a pain to set up every single time, but I can't even count the times I've used this page to check up some upcoming dates in my past journals, so I think it's definitely worth having. Also, there is something about this spread that's just so aesthetically pleasing to me, so even though it's an annoying one to write, I just can't leave it out. I use this light green color here behind the titles because even in my excessive pen collection, I didn't have anything close to this color. But honestly, I'm just being extra. You could use any color or some calendar stickers to do the same thing. Then on this next page, I'm actually gonna set up something a little bit different. So I started by using some colorful paper here again to add some color accents and these simple elegant decoration elements. But the main point of this page will be to write about why am I bullet journaling. I think a page like this would be really helpful especially if this is your first bullet journal because as you might imagine, Many people unfortunately give up on their journals pretty quickly after they start. And I honestly think that it might often be because the why is not very clear. So for example, I use my bullet journal mainly to organize my life, but since the very beginning, I've also used it as an art sketchbook to consistently practice drawing and painting. So yeah, I just thought maybe having your reason down on a paper might help you to be more motivated to actually keep using the journal on a regular basis. But now let's move on again and the next spread will be a future log. 
future log is a place where you have some room for the upcoming months so let's say you have a specific date in a few months from now that you need to remember but you still didn't set up your bullet journal that far that's the type of thing you could write on the future log instead but before we do the actual monthly setup here i actually made some more paper decorations here and I wanted to create this pattern background that I'll use to write the monthly titles on. I sketched the pattern first here on the left so I knew what I was doing. And now let's go over it step by step on the right side. I used the dots as my guide and marked every fourth dot. So I'll be able to keep the round shapes pretty much the same size. And then I also marked these small dots which will be the placements for the small center flowers. Then I started to sketch the main shapes with a pencil and I don't really know how to explain this step so I hope you can see what I'm doing here in the video. It was really difficult to keep these exactly the same size and shape but it doesn't really matter if they don't. In the end they kind of all blend together anyway. But then after sketching out the whole pattern, I started to go over these guidelines with this white pen. And I actually ended up doing two layers with the white because I think the first layer wasn't quite pigmented enough. Then I also traced all the inner round shapes with this light gray brush pen. And this won't necessarily add much to the pattern itself, but it will make these white details stand out better and also give them almost this drop shadow effect. I think this ended up looking pretty cute and you could of course achieve this same pattern with any other color combinations too and also without the background paper as well. But then I started to write the calendars and I used some light pink stripes here again to add another simple color accent. I usually don't have that many things to write here in the future log, so I don't need that much space for each month, which is why I like to divide this page in the middle and combine the future log with this monthly statistics section that I've used in the past as well. Also, you might notice that, that I only set this future log for the next six months because that's how long I always use one journal and then I switch to a new one and create a new healthier setup in the end of June. But if you'd like to use the same journal for the whole year, you could also use the bottom half for the last six months of the year or you could just repeat this same spread and make it from July to December. I use this monthly stats section mainly to track some of my social media growth, shop sales and stuff like that. But I also use it to compare some monthly exercise stuff. Like I have this phone app that tracks my movements and exercise. So that's something I write here as well. This section can really be used for anything you like and need and I think it's just so convenient that you see all the other months in this one page which makes things very easy to compare. But now it's time to move on again and next I'll jump to my favorite section in the whole yearly setup which are the yearly goals. I am pretty serious about setting some goals every year and I completely understand that it's probably not for everybody but I feel like there definitely is something about the new year and the new beginning that's just very ideal time to make some goals. But that being said, something I've also learned is to really limit my goals and try to make them something that's actually realistic to achieve and to keep up with. I started this spread by writing this big goals title to the bottom of the page and I decided to use some of these stripe decorations here once again. I thought it was the easiest way to first sketch out the letters. So when you add this colorful paper on top, you can just kind of fill the missing part of the letters on top of it again. This font I'm using here is called Georgia and you can find it from Google or anywhere if you're interested to use it in your own titles. 
I knew that I'll need a little bit more than just one spread for the goal section. So I decided to create this Dutch door page here that will allow this secret flip door space here to write some more stuff down. But then let's start setting up the actual content of these pages. So this first page here will be just for some open questions to help you start thinking about the yearly goals. I usually like to think about my long-term goals at least once a year, which is still always very difficult, but I feel like having an idea of what you wish your life would look like in five or maybe 10 years from now is a very good place to start thinking about what could be some possible actions towards that future this year. So yeah, just some reflection questions here to get the thoughts flowing. And then on the second page, I really challenge myself to list four of the most important things I'd like to achieve or at least focus on in the next six months. These might be a little bit bigger goals, so to keep everything even more practical, I then use this Dutch door space here to list some smaller action steps towards those bigger goals. And then, as everything shouldn't always be about just running after some business or growth related goals in life, I decided to use this last page for a bucket list of some nice things that could be a good balance for everything else. But I think that's all for the goal section this time. If you want to get even more ideas, I have many yearly and mid-year setup videos from previous years of my channel. And I feel like the goal section is definitely one that has changed quite a lot over the years. But now let's move on to the next section. That's also something I always have on these yearly setups. And this is the place to calculate the monthly budget. I started this page with a simple color palette here in the upper corner. This one will actually be pretty similar to the one on my last year's setup because I just found that this setup works perfectly for me. So after the title, I cut these next two pages and created these small half page Dutch doors to the bottom part of the page. So one page here will be the budget tracker for each month from January to June. So we have six pages here in total. I then added some color accents to these pages with the same printed sticker papers I've been using this far. And I also decided to round the corners of these pages, which just gives this whole section a little bit more finished look in my opinion. I think that budget and money tracking stuff is very personal for everyone. So the things I list here might not exactly work for you. For me, it's important to have a place to list and calculate the total amount of my income. Since I work for myself and my income consists of multiple small streams that also change from month to month. So having a place to see and track all that information is very important to me. But then I also always make this other section for the monthly savings which is basically is a reminder for me to check how much money I have on my bank account and I also like to compare the amount to to what I had last month just to get an idea if I used too much or if I was able to save some money. I think even if you don't need to manage the money stuff that much at least checking your bank account every now and then might be a very good idea. Then on this last page here, I decided to save this small space for listing all the fixed expenses we have. So this would be stuff like the rent, internet bill, phone bills, any subscriptions and so on. I think doing this a few times a year and just going through and reviewing everything you're paying for is a very good idea. But yeah, I really hope this whole budget section gave you some ideas. This has really been one of the most useful things for me after starting bullet journaling is I didn't really pay that much attention to this kind of stuff before that. 
But now it's time to move on to the last spread of this whole layout. And this also ended up being one of my favorite pages layout wise. So I decided to bring back the flowers here just to kind of tie this whole yearly setup section together and also make this one spread a little bit prettier, I guess. So I repeated the exact same steps for these flowers as we did on the first spread. First, starting everything from a pencil sketch, then going over all the outlines with a black pen. Then I added some light color with watercolors and then gradually intensified some of the shadow parts with darker tones. And lastly, after the watercolor layers had tried, I added some more black lines to bring some more details to these flowers. And then lastly, I added these dark green stickers here to make a clean border for the flower section. And we'll also use these stripes to write the titles on this page. So I didn't really know how to title this whole spread, so I just named it Media Consume List. Not maybe the smartest name, but it will do. <laughs> and basically, this will just be a place for me to list some books, movies, series, and in my case, manga that I have read or watched, or the ones I want to read or watch. I also like to give a rating, especially for the books I read, so I'll probably add some kind of rating system for everything I've finished here. But this spread finally finishes the whole updated yearly setup. I'm super looking forward to start using this and fill all these pages. Also, if you would be interested to purchase a digital version of this yearly setup or check out any of the other yearly setups or monthly setups I've done previously, I already have a pretty good collection of them on my shop and now all of the themes are updated to this year. So all the calendars and everything are for 2022. The link to the shop is in the description, but no pressure whatsoever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if this was your first time around here, please consider subscribing to stay tuned for all the future journaling this year. The January plan with me video is coming up probably next week, but this is all for today. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are and see you in my next one. Bye bye!